Hey there, uh, this is Eric at Learn Design with Eric, or Eric Fischneller, whatever. Um, hey guys, uh, this is Eric, and uh, it's been quite a long time since I've posted any sort of video. Um, you may notice a few things behind me. Near my truck right there. And, uh, let's see, turn this camera a bit so you can see. Got a uh, big, huge fifth wheel here. That's my, that's my home. I no longer live in Eugene, Oregon. Let's see if I can stick this thing back so you can see me again. And uh, I just wanted to reach out so, and talk to you a little bit about what's going on with me and uh, you know my new lifestyle and um, maybe talk to you a little bit about uh, people have been reaching out to me still on the Pebble you know, asking questions and things like that, and just kind of give you a little bit of what I think about what's going on in the transportation world and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's start with uh, first things first. I, uh, we sold, my wife and I sold our house in Eugene, Oregon, and we hit the road in our fifth wheel. And if you're interested in seeing what we're up to on that, uh, we've got a YouTube channel called Fishtails, as you know my last name is Fishneller, and so that's what Fishtails is about. It's about what we're doing. It has nothing to do with fishing. Neither of us like to fish, um, but it is about uh, where we've been in our rig and what we're up to and, you know, general RV and travel kind of blog stuff. So right now I am sitting in our lot in Boulder City, Nevada. We bought this lot um, in December and uh, we have improved it. You can see some grass behind me there and we've got new pavers and a shed and all that stuff. And if you want to see kind of the process of that, uh, that's all on the Fishtails YouTube channel. So check that out and please subscribe if you guys have not already subscribed to that channel. And as far as um, design work, I'm still doing all my design work from the road. I've got a, uh, a full discussion about my desk and how I get internet and all that stuff also on the Fishtails channel. So if you want to know about uh, kind of newfound freedom after COVID and all of the remote work type stuff, uh, that's also on the Fishtails channel. You've, you're starting to see a theme here. It's all on the Fishtails channel. Um, and that's because I, uh, I've been kind of focusing heavily on that channel. So. Uh, Anyway, I, I appreciate you guys watching this channel still. Everybody's very interested in the Pebble still. There's a lot of discussion that's still happening. People are asking me questions about it. Um, just to set the record straight, I no longer own the Pebble. Uh, my wife and I, uh, well, first of all, uh, it would not work in this lifestyle. We couldn't use it as our vehicle, our one and only vehicle. We drive this truck to haul the big rig and the big rig in this case, just to be clear and so you don't have to go to the other YouTube channel, is a, uh, a toy hauler, which is basically a, um, R, a, a fifth wheel RV that has a garage space. And people would traditionally use these types of rigs for hauling motorcycles or, um, you know, like uh, trikes, like, you know, motorcycle trikes or, you know, those kinds of things, um, but we've got ours set up to haul a car. So my wife's actually out with our dogs right now um, in the car, and we have a little smart car that we put in the back of our toy hauler. So that's kind of how we set our life up. So in, in this space here to the right of me is our living space, um, and the living space is, I mean, it's it's an incredibly roomy rig. It's it's. It's supposed to be a 45 footer, but it's actually 47 feet if you measure from tip to tip. So it is a monstrous rig to drive down the road. And uh, this is the first time I've driven anything this size. Prior to this, the biggest thing I had driven was a, uh, a raft trailer, which is, was, I don't know, maybe 22 feet long or something like that behind my full size truck. So this is a whole nother story. And I can tell you, it's taken some getting used to, but it's, it's been fun. And uh, we're gonna be taking off in a couple weeks to head up to Boise, Idaho to see my dad. And this lifestyle gives us the flexibility to 
uh, spend extended periods of time in areas that we want to spend time in so we can explore and also so that we can see family and those kinds of things and uh, not have to stay in hotels. We can bring our dogs with us wherever we go. Our home is the dog's home, it's our home and it goes with us wherever we go. So we sleep in our own bed. We never sleep in hotel beds and we don't have to fly, which I hate doing. And uh, even with gas prices as expensive as they are, or in this case, diesel, we have a diesel truck. Even with diesel prices as expensive as they are, it's still much cheaper than some of the other options out there. And in terms of uh, living, it can be a much less expensive lifestyle. Uh, we are not trying to make it as cheap as possible. We're trying to enjoy life as much as possible within reason, of course. We do have a budget, of course. Uh, anyway, the, I just wanted to give you a little bit of intel on this lifestyle in case you're interested in it. And like I say, if you are, check out the Fishtails YouTube channel. Uh, let's see, Pebble. Let's talk Pebble really quick and some uh, general things that I've noticed. So obviously I don't have the Pebble anymore. And for me, it's a big investment in big in retrospect, right? So a brand new Pebble today would probably be about 13 grand plus shipping. Uh, if you wanted to equip it the way I had mine equipped with a 75 mile range and with uh, some of the upgrades, which now doors are an upgrade, I think, and some other things like that that I had on mine, like the USB dash uh, input and some of those things were upgrades. Uh, they have a 2.0 model that they're putting out soon. They're doing manufacturing in, I believe, Germany. And so a lot of what created, or a lot of what was the pebble before is now new. And I don't know much about what's going on with the 2.0 model, but I'm still on the pebble uh, Facebook group. And I still see chatter about people saying, I ordered this thing and they keep telling me that it's gonna be a couple more months and a couple more months and a couple more months. And it sounds to me like the business is still the same business it was back in, what was that? Maybe 2018 when I ordered mine or 2017? The point is they still are way over promising and way under delivering. And so they're just not good business people, you know? And to expect the kind of uh, business person tactic that uh, you would with any other car company or any other bicycle company is unfortunately not accurate. They're just not capable of putting out good products in a timely manner, at least not in the kind of timely manner that I would expect. And I had number seven, and I don't know what they're up to number-wise now, but you know it's up a fair amount. And you know they, they should have had some experience with this now and understand that these things take time. There's still supply shortages globally. Parts are very, very expensive for bicycles and everything, as you guys all know. And so to expect that they're gonna turn things around quickly, I think it, it, think about getting a pebble like building an add-on to your house or like building a house. It's like whatever the contractor tells you, double it. So if they say it'll take six months, it's a year. If they say it'll take eight months, it's, it's longer. You know, it's, you know, twice as far, 16 months to get it. And I think that's probably more accurate. So if you are thinking about ordering a Pebble, um, double, the, double the timeline that they give you and then you won't be disappointed because that's from what I'm hearing is probably pretty accurate. Um, let's talk about uh, pricing on these things because I, I still get a lot of discussion. There's, there's some people that are like, this thing's super cheap and it's great for what it is. And then there's still some people, I still get a lot of people that are like, it's super expensive, it's super overpriced, I could do it much cheaper. I'd say if you can do it cheaper, then you should do it cheaper. Because the fact is that, I mean, I don't know if you've been shopping recently, but 
a, a, a standard e-bike with a china frame and kind of crappy components is like three thousand dollars nowadays um, now you can get cheaper ones you can buy some very inexpensive models that are still a grand but um, and, and maybe even a little bit under that if you get a special sale on like last year's model or something like that or a used one something like that but I mean if you go to buy a high-end or a high what I not maybe not high-end but high quality e-bike you know you could easily spend 2500 bucks or three thousand dollars so the dreams to get the pebbles at six thousand dollars like they initially launched back in whatever that was 2018 2017 those dreams are over I mean there's no way so everything's super expensive and uh, you th I mean just think about it back in 2018 you could buy a pretty damn nice car for like twenty thousand dollars and now you can't even buy like a Honda Civic for that much you know like Honda Civic started like twenty four thousand if you want a decent one so uh, all that to say you know these are these are some of my thoughts about this do I think a uh, transportation like that is a good idea yeah definitely uh, if, if it works for you you know the problem with it is that there's a very limited space or a limited usage like for instance I live in Boulder City right now I'm I'm this is where we have our lot and had I had this lot here when I when I originally was looking at the pebble I would have never ordered that thing it would not work here first of all it's super hilly I mean the hills here are insane just to go from here down to the lake it's about three miles and it's probably like I don't know a nine percent grade all the way down the hill three miles down this big hill down to the lake and uh, and the same going back up the pebble would never make it up this hill I mean and, and if it was hot you know it was 115 degrees when when I had mine a lot of the pieces were held together with adhesives and adhesives when they get super hot tend to kind of come apart and so um, yeah I just don't think I don't think the pebble in an extremely hot climate like the Vegas area is is really a good idea and I, and I said that back in the day when I owned mine so that people wouldn't you know buy it for like using to drive around Phoenix or something um, and this area has a lot of bike trails which is really really great but I think in this area especially as dry as it is I mean first of all you really don't need the cover so unless you're using it to haul your kids or something like that and I think a regular traditional cargo bike with a scoop on the front or you know uh, extra an extra cycle st style system would work way way better in this area so uh, you know and if it's really hilly especially because a 500 watt electric bike on a hill in a hilly area like this when it's a traditional bike and it weighs maybe 50 pounds maybe 60 max it's a much much better experience than a 500 watt bike that weighs 200 pounds I mean a 200 pound 500 watt e-bike is pretty awful you know and even if it's 750 right but the difference between 500 and 750 I, it's almost nothing and if you have the hill climbing mode which they have now it's like they call it the off-road switch uh, the off-road switch takes it up to I think 1250 or 1500 it basically doubles it um, of course it's going to use the power twice as fast it's technically illegal um, some people care about that other people don't uh, I don't think that too many uh, law officers would think that you were riding with 20 you know even if it was 2,000 watts I don't think too many law officers would think you were riding with 2,000 watts with a 200 pound e-bike because the truth is it's not going to go that fast on these types of hills in this area so if you live in a real hilly area the more watts the better right especially you know with a pebble obviously on an e-bike you know 500 watts or 750 watts is usually pretty dang act you know adequate for for most people so anyway there there's my uh my two cents i guess and uh just wanted to catch you guys up on what's going on with my life 
please check out the Fishtails YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, if you have not already subscribed here and you want to see more about my thoughts and what's going on in uh, transportation, cycling, scooters, all the stuff I'm interested in, then uh, subscribe here. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful day.